Hi everyone, it's Don and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, boy, I got a lot of people saying, hey Don, that World Cruise does sound really amazing. 274 days starting in December of 2023. But uh, you said it's expensive. How expensive? Well, I got some of those answers for you <laughs> very soon. <laughs> So the good news is we also found out that that Royal Caribbean cruise is also going to be broken down that you can book four different segments. So if you can't go on the whole 274, you can book one of the other smaller segments, but the very smallest segment is still 60 days. So if you can't get away from 60 days or more on one cruise, then these will be out for you. But I did some investigating and I did come up with some prices and I got them written down here. This is a little princess notebook that they give you away uh, in places like trivia or if you lose in the yes no game show. <laughs> uh, no, I did not. I did not lose or anything. Uh, very nice ladies here on board. They won, I think, in trivia and we were talking and i happened to mention they showed me oh look we got this the one i said oh i need to pick one of those up because i forgot to bring a notepad with me and i need a notepad here on the cruise and they were nice enough to give it to me so thank you very much ladies uh and i have used it well on this cruise so far so if you're wondering how much how much this world cruise segment will be these are in us dollars and these are not including taxes or port fees. So picture yourself going to 65 countries and picture how much your port fees and taxes are gonna be besides this. This is just the going rate for the cabins. Alrighty, and I'm basing this on per person, which is by two people per stateroom. So a couple going on a cruise. I don't know too many of us solo cruisers that are going on a 274 day world cruise, but if you are, it's still gonna be probably the same. I don't know if they're discounting it for other than your taxes and port fees, but let's base this on per cabin for two people. This is what those cabins are gonna cost. Well, if you want to stay in an inside cabin, for the whole 274 days, it's going to cost you a grand total of $122,000 base fare. $122,000 US dollars for an inside cabin on this cruise. Now, inside cabin, it's a little dark for you. You want to have at least a window. You want that ocean view. It's going to run you $130,000 per couple, plus the associated fees and things that go with it, etc. You want to you wanna splurge a little bit and get a balcony for that whole cruise that you can sit on the balcony and see the world. It does sound amazing. It does sound amazing. But it's going to set you back as a couple $158,000 starting price. $158,000 US dollars starting price. And let's say, all right, we'll go one more upgrade. One more upgrade for everybody. If you want to get yourself into a junior suite. Not a big suite, not a royal loft suite, a junior suite, slightly larger, a little bit of a little bit of a couch there, more more of a living room setting. Well, that's going to set you back per couple. <laughs> Are you ready for this? Are you holding on to your wallets? Two hundred and twenty-four thousand dollars. I don't know about you. I would so love. I would so so love to be able to do a cruise like that. And I know there are people out there who can afford to do it and all the power to them. I begrudge nothing to people who uh, worked hard or you know managed to get that place in life. I have no begrudging whatsoever. Great on you, good job. And uh, if you can afford it, all the power to you because uh, uh, I speak as a, an avid cruiser, I would love absolutely love to do this cruise it sounds absolutely amazing fairly large ship lots to do on board lots of dining options entertainment options and yeah i uh 274 you know visiting brazil and africa
Africa and China. And it would just be an amazing cruise. So yeah, that's just the little bitterness in me knowing that I don't have that kind of money. It, it has nothing to do with begrudging people who can do it. And you know what? If you want to volunteer and pay my cabin, I'll go. I am not proud. <laughs> I will gladly accept. I'll even, I'll even, I won't even take a mini suite. I'll just stay in a balcony. I'll be happy with that. I need a balcony though, if I'm gonna visit all those countries. Can you imagine how great, a great, a cruise that would be? So yeah, it wasn't kind of like the exciting groundbreaking news that a lot of us were hoping for. Maybe that wasn't even the news that, that they were, you know, that Mr. Bailey was hinting at in his, in his, in his posting. But if it was, yeah, it's not, not, it's good news if you can do it, but it's not good news for the majority of us because majority of us couldn't even do this 60 day. <laughs> At least I can't. Oh, well, I'm still looking for cruise deals and those are the cruises I'm going on right now. But man, if I ever strike that lottery, you might see me on that world cruise. Well, I hope you appreciate this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation.